Carlsberg is forecasting slower earnings growth as a coronavirus outbreak threatens to crimp beer consumption in Asia. Well, the Danish brewer extended the shutdown of some breweries in China. Joining us now is Kees Hart. He is the Carlsberg chief executive. And this is after they forecast slower earnings growth because of the coronavirus. Uh, Mr. Tart, thank you for joining us. I know this is very difficult to do because it's difficult to model such an outbreak, especially when the Chinese economy has grown um, fivefold since the SARS outbreak. But can you talk us through how you're looking at the virus, worst case scenario and best case scenario? Yes, good morning. And, um uh, thank you for your question. Um, well, first of all, it's a very sad situation, of course, for China and its people. Um, the Chinese government is taking it very seriously, and we hope that the government will succeed to stop the virus spreading um, quickly. Um, in, in our area, we haven't seen any major lockdowns of the cities or areas where Carlsberg is present. However, what we see is uh, uh, there's a uh, significant uh, impact on on trade. Almost all night entertainment outlets are closed. Uh, more than 50% of dining outlets are closed. Uh, and uh, the off trade, so if you like the retail, uh, is also impacted. So it impacts the whole country, uh, and therefore the virus will probably affect our business uh, negatively. It's, however, too early to give an estimate of the full impact. Uh, it really depends on how long it lasts and how wide it spreads. Uh, and uh, uh, we are implementing different initiatives to mitigate the potential impact. Uh, we have seen some studies from, uh, for example, the SARS uh, virus in 2003, uh, uh, and that was uh, a matter of four to six months that it really impacted uh, China, uh, and, and <clears throat> after that uh, China started to, to grow Tart. again. So we understand that half of your market in China is actually on-premise. So that means basically clubs and pubs. Do we have an estimation of how many of these are closed and how many could close in the future? Well, I think uh, most of them are closed at this moment of time when we talk about uh, night entertainment. Uh, again, uh, restaurants, dining outlets uh, is 50%. Um, so I think uh, we see already uh, <coughs> the full impact of the virus at this moment of time. Uh, Case, wonderful to have you with us today. Can you explain to us pasteurized and unpasteurized beer in China? Can Carlsberg say that you only have a pasteurized process that will keep the virus out of the beer? Or what do you do with the unpasteurized Vogue that's so in right now? Well, Tom, uh, basically the, the virus cannot spread via, via alcoholic drinks. Uh, it cannot even spread uh, via food, as far as we are informed. <laughs> So this is not uh, a, an issue. Most of our beers are, by the way, uh, pasteurized or post-pasteurized uh, uh, in China. So that's not an issue. But it's a, a non-issue anyway because it cannot spread via food. Well, very good. Thank you for that answer. Kess, let me ask you a financial question to get us out of this as well. You've seen terrific dividend growth, persistent free cash flow. Why, are you going to take use of cash to dividends or share buyback? Um, well, uh, we increase uh, this year, uh, or in 2004, the, the, the results of 2019, on the basis of that we increased by 70% our dividends. We move as well uh, from 4.5 billion share buybacks to 5 billion DKK share buybacks for 2020. Uh, so we're improving uh, our, or increasing our returns to the shareholders.